but it makes no sense. I really have to tell you, and I'm not gonna mince my words. Egyptians never claimed to be the builders of the pyramids, ever. Egyptians believed in what's called Kemet, an older civilization which was technologically way more advanced. It's worth mentioning that even the locals didn't believe that the pyramids were built to be tombs of the pharaohs. This belief wasn't even developed until 150 years ago. A bunch of men from high societies decided that the pyramids should have been built by the pharaohs. This belief has been relayed by some academics such as Howard Carter. His colleagues joined and gathered around the ID. And that's it. Finish. End of game. Meanwhile, there is no proof, no evidence of that. It's worth mentioning that when you go through the pyramids of Giza, there's not one single yearly in any of them whatsoever. There was never a mummy found in any Egyptian pyramids ever. Quite literally, the only reason why we are told those things is because that was the theory developed by those men that went in there in the late 19th century and said, I believe. This must have been the pharaohs building that. That makes sense. So, it's just one group of people had one theory, and that theory just stuck around 100% since 150 years. Thing is that megalites used to build pyramids, most of them weighs up to 80 tons. Reality is that we nowadays would have no clue how to build a pyramid. We are not enough advanced technologically. Then I'm going to tell you the real origins of the pyramids. I know that it's going to shock you. 